Hey what's going on everyone, Nick here with another video going over something very interesting for The Predator. So obviously now that the film has been released and it's been out in theaters for several months now and it's actually out on Blu-ray and digital, so everyone that has wanted to see the film has had the chance to see it, a lot more is starting to trickle out about the behind the scenes and kind of making of, you know, production stuff for the film. More specifically, stuff that we didn't get to see in the film, more like Alien Covenant last year when we started to hear about, you know, the alternate designs for the film and a lot of the early story concepts, you know, a lot of the stuff that surfaced that was leading us to believe that, you know, the whole storyline had been shifted with Covenant. It seems like that was kind of the case with The Predator as well. For whatever reason, Fox and the creators behind these films really go through so many different storylines before ultimately ending up on what is up on the screen. And some of it is for the best, but some of it could have actually improved the film overall. We recently reported about some concept art from Fausto Di Martini that actually revealed a facehugger inspired breathing mask that was going to be used for an alternate ending of The Predator in which a character was inside of a Wayland yutani supplied pod wearing that breathing mask. We also know that a practical version of that mask was created for the alternate ending and now it seems like they actually shot that ending several different ways. Thanks to Yuri Everson, who is the shop supervisor for Studio ADI on several projects, he shared some new photos to Instagram confirming that they did actually film this sequence. He showed some photos of them literally filming it with the camera pointing down at the pod with the person inside of the pod, but the occupant is really what's the big ticket here. Apparently, they shot one version of the ending where Ripley was the character that was wearing the breathing mask inside of the Wayland Yutani pod. Obviously, it wasn't Sigourney Weaver, she didn't take part in any of the filming for the Predator. They were going to use actress Brianna Watkins, who would play the character of Ripley in this version. Watkins is a stunt performer who has been in films like Star Trek Beyond and some other sci-fi projects recently. According to his caption, he said, quote, we shot three different endings for the Predator, all variations of a Predator Killer, which is what was inside of the pod. This unused ending for the Predator Killer featured Ripley wearing the breather mask we created for the film. You can see her name tag there on the costume. Brianna Watkins played Ripley under the mask instead of Sigourney Weaver. The moving fingers and tail were deemed too facehugger-like on the day and were cut and removed by someone. Thanks to ADI for heading up the mask and everything and the amazing crew in Vancouver who made the pod all in no time flat. More to follow. In the post, he actually puts a follow-up comment saying that they're going to reveal the third and final alternate ending sometime next week. But again, this is just really fascinating stuff, you know? <laughs> the kind of process that they came about with this ending. I mean, it's so weird that they felt like they needed to put some sort of like a post-credits tag on the film. You know, realistically, in Predator films, they haven't ever actually done anything like this. Um, even in Alien films, you know, it's just had the ending and that's basically it. Sometimes they do kind of, you know, hint towards a sequel, and sometimes they don't. And for whatever reason, with this film, they felt like they needed some sort of a Marvel-style post- or mid credit sequence to very much directly set up future films. And it's so weird that of all the stuff that they did, they probably chose the most expensive one by making a fully digital Predator Killer Iron Man suit in the sequence that ended up in the post credit scene. But what do you guys think about this? The idea that Ripley was actually wearing the facehugger inspired breathing mask inside of the Whale and Yutani supplied pod. I mean, I have so many questions about this. Just what was the context behind it? Why did they go with Ripley instead of Dutch, who was, you know, a character that a lot of fans were speculating about and who was actually part of the original, you know, script, if you guys remember. Dutch was supposed to cameo at the very end of the film, kind of, you know, setting up the characters for what was going to come later with the invasion of the Predators coming to Earth. It's just so weird to think about like what implications this would have had for the Alien and Predator universes because you know the stuff that we've had in the past of crossovers and everything it's just been kind of little easter eggs and stuff like this but this would have been a very big direct you know like okay we're crossing over both universes you know Ripley's in this officially the universes are merged together it'd be like if Duck showed up in you know the Jim Cameron Alien movie or something and just be like what that's just so out of 
place and weird like how does that even make any sense were they going to introduce time travel as an aspect into this and that's how ripley got sent back in time from wayne Dutani. we just don't really know uh, again this is just very weird fascinating stuff i'd love to hear the context behind why exactly they decided to go with ripley and why they didn't actually use this scene and just went with the iron man thing but post your thoughts down in the comments below what do you guys think about this and what are your thoughts on the implications of putting Ripley into the Predator universe? Would it have made sense? Um, there's just so many questions that would involve, you know, putting this character into the movie. We'll definitely be talking about whatever the third ending is next week when it's revealed, and for more updates on the Alien and Predator universes, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.